John, your investors whom I represent are deeply concerned. 48 hours from now, if they aren't convinced, I'm not convinced. I'll shut you down, John. <laughs> species of Veriformin's been extinct since the Cretaceous period. I mean, this thing is a this thing. It's... it's a dinosaur. We're gonna make a fortune with this place. How fast are they? Well, we clocked the T-Rex at 32 miles an hour. T-Rex? Mm hmm You said you've got a T-Rex? Uh-huh. Say again. We have a T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Grant. My idea is up to that. Welcome to Jurassic Park. you do this? I'll show you. Those gates ain't moving until they install the gears and whatnots. Which is fine by me, because they've only got herbivores on this side of them.
you'll find a great dino fat just down there. The most advanced amusement park in the entire world. Why don't you all sit down? Just one drop of blood contains billions of strands of DNA, the building blocks of life. A hundred million years ago, there were mosquitoes, just like today. Sometimes, after biting a dinosaur, the mosquito would land on the branch of a tree and become fossilized. This is what we call amber. Using sophisticated techniques, Jurassic Park scientists extract the preserved blood from the mosquito. And now we can make a baby dinosaur. G'day, Henry. Oh, good day, sir. Perfect timing. They imprint on the first creature they come in contact with. That's it. So I'm kind of controlling or attempting is uh, it's not possible. Listen, there's one thing the history of evolution has taught us. It's that life uh, finds a way. What species is this? Uh, it's a velociraptor. <laughs> They're lethal at eight months, and I do mean lethal. I've hunted most things that can hunt you, but the way these things move, 50, 60 miles per hour if they ever got out in the open. They remember. All right, let's feed these overgrown lizards then. Come on, let's go. Ah. Well, these cages aren't going to be big enough. You can barely fit a goat in them. That's better. Now we just add cow. Isn't that part of the paddock control panel? Taking you for a meal. Sorta. Fresh beef, huh? Oh. 
boy, those raptors eat better than I do. Not go on. With my mother, I help her. I have not been racked with such pain as this since I stopped my toe. Someone else must operate the crane. My injuries are too severe. What are they doing? Feeding them. The essence of chaos. <laughs> Grandpa! Kids! We miss you! <laughs> These will be your transports for the afternoon. The driver. Oh, no, 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 no driver. They're electric. They run on this uh, track in the middle of the roadway here. Spared no expense. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Still not clear on chaos. The shorthand is the oh. butterfly effect. A butterfly can flap its wings in Peking and in Central Park, you get rain instead of sunshine. Look at this. See? See? I'm right again. Nobody could have predicted that Dr. Grant would suddenly, suddenly jump out of a moving vehicle. Don't be scared. Come on, it's okay. She's sick. <gasps> I have to insist that we get moving. You know, if it's alright, I'd like to stay with Dr. Harding and finish up with the trike. Sure. Seems to happen about every six weeks or so. I'd have to see the dinosaurs dropping. Toxic, but the animals don't eat them. You sure? Pretty sure. If you ever meet my...
lenses are dilated. Dr. Sattler? She's looking right as rain again. Speaking of which, we should get back to the visitor center before the storm catches us. Here's a little knowledge for you. There should be another car parked in the compound northeast of here. Not part of the visitor center, Dr. Sattler. I don't fancy that dino's chances of balancing on the trunk. We better make another way over for her. tree fell down, it took out the gate control panel. They took the car with them as well. We better find ourselves a shortcut, Dr. Sattler. 
Once we get past this fence, we'll be back at the visitor center in no time. Some greedy dino ate it. Times we needed locking mechanisms on the vehicle Stop doors. Right, Item 151 on today's glitch list. We have all the problems of a major theme park and a major zoo, and the computers aren't even on their feet yet. Dennis, <laughs> our lives are in your hands, and you have butterfingers. I'm totally unappreciated in my time. You know anybody who can network eight connection machines and debug two million lines of code for what I bid for this job? Quiet! All of you! I'm approaching the Tyrannosaur paddock. Remember, viable embryos. They're no use to us if they don't survive. 1.5 million if you get all 15 species off the island. 7 o'clock, D-Stock. <laughs> 